Hey, adventure fans! Welcome to GlacierAdventure.com. We're out in the Mini Glacier area. It's a fine summer morning here on June 17th. You'll see there's snow still on the ground, quite a bit of it. And this concession in this part of the park has just opened. We're going to go on a horseback ride to Crack Cracker Flats, and that is about a two hour ride, so I'm assuming an hour out and an hour back. Looks to be a lovely day. Come along for the adventure. I can't wait. I don't spend a lot of time on horses. This will be probably my third or fourth time on the back of a horse, so it should be pretty exciting. Stay tuned for video and photos. Swan Mountain Outfitters actually has more than one uh, location for horseback riding. We happen to be in the Mini Glacier area. They also have rides happening in the McDonald Lake area as well as the Swan Mountain Range itself. One good thing to know is that you cannot bring a video camera on your ride, even though we'd like to take ours, simply because I think it's sort of like uh, using your cell phone while you're driving. You uh, lose track of what you're doing, where you're at, and you happen to be on the back of a live animal, so maybe filming isn't such a great thing. Um, um, we'll give you all the tips, all the inside secrets once we've done it ourselves uh, on the flip side. So we'll so, see you in a um, bit. After we got there, fill out all our paperwork. Uh, they set you up with your horse. Uh, you get the instructions on how everything works uh, from John. And then, uh, oh, what was the girl's name on the, uh, the, the rear wrangler? Uh, that was Georgianne. And uh, Hope was our front wrangler. And they give you instructions on uh, basically how to steer your horse. And uh, shortly after that, we headed out into the absolutely beautiful uh, Many Glacier area of Glacier National Park. And you might be wondering, well, where is the Many Glacier area? Allow us to show you. <laughs> that's uh, Apgar. Uh, that's Logan Pass right there. And uh, St. Mary Center is over there. And then, of course, uh, the Many Glacier area. Absolutely beautiful part of Glacier National Park. Very alpine, uh, Swiss kind of feel. And actually, the lodge there, the... Uh, Mini Glacier Lodge has a very European feel to it. We encourage you to go check that out if you happen to travel on to the Swan Mountain Outfitters to go on a trail ride. After your ride, just head on down. It's just right across the parking lot. Uh, quite an amazing place with sweeping views, just like the ones you're seeing now. And uh, tips and inside secrets, what do you got? Well, definitely dress in layers. It's uh, windy, and then when you're out, out in the field, out in the meadow, it gets hot. Closed toe shoes, so no no sandals, ladies, no flip flops. Yes, and of course, bring your still camera because they do not allow video cameras. Uh, no video cameras allowed on the uh, the horseback trail. And your wranglers are there for a reason. I really took comfort in knowing when I was supposed to lean forward, when I was supposed to lean back. If you don't ride a horse, it's important to help your horse. You know, they're they're carrying people all day long, so you want to do right by them. And if you have a good time, um, do make sure that you uh, give your horse a big fat smooch. And, uh, <laughs> tip your wrangler, tip your wrangler. Yeah, take take good care of your wranglers because they are working for peanuts, but uh, they're doing... In a doing, beautiful view. Yeah, they're doing it well. Well, Glacier fans, we just got back from our two-hour Cracker Flats ride here with the Swan Mountain Outfitters out here in Mini Glacier. They also offer tours out of Apgar. Uh, that's where their ticket office is and the McDonald Lake uh, Lodge area, as well as the Swan Valley, which is south of here. Anyway, the ride was incredible. We had sweeping views of the backcountry, which you will see in the video. Uh, and even the, the starting point as we pan around here is incredible. Uh, you're looking at the cliffs of the Mini Glacier area, home to lots of grizzly bears, wildflowers, uh, a place that's our personal favorite known as Iceberg Lake, a great trail where there are icebergs floating on that lake even in July. So really the quintessential place to come if you're looking for that Glacier Park experience with uh, beautiful views, wildlife, wildflowers, and of course friendly folks, our wranglers here at the Swan Mountain Outfitters. Uh, thanks so much and uh, we encourage you to come out and give them a try, whether it be a half day, one hour, uh, two hour uh, ride, it's well worth the time.